All right. Um, so what this is asking is to find the sum, right, when n equals 1 and our final term is 50. So if what we're pretty much asking us to do is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, dot, 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 all the way up to 50, right? Yes? yes? So that's a lot of calculator work. Or you can simply just plug in the summation into your calculator, which I told you guys about as well. But let's say you don't have a calculator like that, or you can't remember what to do. So rather than adding all this up by hand, ladies and gentlemen, there's two formulas I gave you, two of them. The first formula was the a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, right? The second was the sum of n. Now we notice one thing. Is this an arithmetic sequence? Is the difference between each one of these terms the same? Yes. yes. So even though I know I'm doing a sum, if I was just to write this out as a sequence, I know that the sequence of this series, right, or the series, we know that the difference is, would be an arithmetic sequence. So what I can really do is I can calculate the sum by using this formula since this is arithmetic. All right. So rather than using writing all this out and using the series, I am going to use this formula, which remember stated n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Do you guys remember that formula? Yeah. OK. So first thing I need to do is figure out what a sub 1 is. Right? One. So the formula is just 1. And then n is going to be 50. So we have 50 over 2. All right, now I will need your calculator help for that one, because um, I don't, don't want to. It still is that early morning rush. What? 1,275. That's it? To supply a formula. I'm sorry? Now, what if it's 6 Uh, 1,235. OK, that's on. You do the same thing. Just figure out what a sub 1 is, right? And then plug in what n is.